for those who want an end-to-end -end AI search experience, we are introducing an all-new AI mode. And I'm excited to share that AI mode is coming to everyone in the US starting today. Today, you'll see how you can ask anything. And a more intelligent, agentic, and personalized search will take on your toughest questions. You'll find it as a new tab directly in search or right from your search bar. First, with AI mode, you can ask whatever's on your mind. And as you can see here, search gets to work. It generates your response, putting everything together for you, including links to content and creators you might not have otherwise discovered, and merchants and businesses with useful information like ratings. Search uses AI to dynamically adapt the entire UI. The combination of text, images, links, even this map, just for your questions. And you can follow up conversationally. Soon, AI mode will be able to make your responses even more helpful with personalized suggestions based on your past searches. So now, based on your recent restaurant bookings and searches, it gets that you prefer outdoor seating. And since you subscribe to those gallery newsletters, it suggests some cool art exhibits to check out while you're in town. Next, for questions when you want an even more thorough response, we're bringing deep research capabilities into AI mode. Deep Search uses the same query fan out technique you just heard about, but multiplied. It can issue dozens or even hundreds of searches on your behalf. It reasons across all those disparate pieces of information to create an expert level, fully cited report in just minutes. It includes links to the web throughout, so you can easily explore and take action. Complex analysis and data visualization is coming this summer for sports and financial questions. So I'm a huge baseball fan. And lately, there's been a lot of buzz about these new torpedo bats. I've been digging in on whether it's making a real impact on the game. And now, I'm wondering what the numbers say. So I'll ask, show the batting average and on-base percentage for this season and last for notable players who currently use a torpedo bat. I get this helpful response, including this easy-to-read table. Search even brings in important context like that it's still early in the season. I can follow up and ask, how many home runs have these players hit this season? And just like that, I get this graph. This goes back to what Liz mentioned about AI mode dynamically generating the right UI for each response. Search can take work off my plate while still under my control. I'll say, find two affordable tickets for this Saturday's Reds game in the lower level. Search kicks off a query fan out, looking across several sites to analyze hundreds of potential ticket options. I get great ticket options with helpful context so I can make an informed decision. Next, let's talk about multimodality. We call this Search Live. And now, using your camera, Search can see what you see and give you helpful information as you go back and forth in real time. It looks like you're about to do a fun science experiment. All right. Ready, Anya? Ready, Adi? Yep. OK. Are you ready for your science experiment? Yeah. Can you guess which experiment I'm trying to do? I have hydrogen peroxide and dish soap and yeast. You're likely going to make elephant toothpaste. How do I know which one of these strawberries is ready to eat? I'm trying to get this remote to work. It looks like someone is ready to get their hands dirty and plant a green bean seedling. Pump it to about 50 pounds per square inch, but don't go over 90 PSI. I mixed the uh, baking soda. What do I do next? It looks like someone tried dipping a finger into the cinnamon water. What should I do to make this even more impressive? You could try using a different catalyst. Potassium iodide is a good option. Whoa, why is it doing that? A ripe strawberry will also have a sweet smell. The green leaves at the top should look fresh and vibrant. The chemical reaction is going well. This is awesome. Thanks. Whoa! Can we do it again? Go! <laughs> oh, boy. How do I get strawberry stains out of her shirt? Try using a mix of one tablespoon white vinegar, half a teaspoon liquid laundry detergent. With AI mode, we are bringing a new level of intelligence to help you shop with Google. So I have been on the hunt for a new rug for my living room. I'll say, I have a light gray couch, and I'm looking for a rug to brighten the room. Search dynamically generates a browsable mosaic of images and some shoppable products personalized just for me. I have four active kids, and they like to have friends over. Search understands this involves plenty of messes, 
It recommends a low pile and washable rug made from durable materials along with some products that I can shop. I want a few new dresses for summer. Search gave me some great options, but now I'm faced with the classic online shopping dilemma. I have no clue how these styles will look on me. So we are introducing a new try-on feature that will help you virtually try on clothes so you get a feel for how styles might look on you. I click on this button to try it on. It asks me to upload a picture, which takes me to my camera roll. I have many pictures here. I'm going to pick one that is full length and a clear view of me, and off it goes. And you can see it here, how it really gives me a feel for how this dress might look on me. And um, I'm going to click this thing to track price. I pick my size. Then I have to set a target price. I'm going to set it to about $50. And tracking is happening. When that happens, I get a notification just like this. And if I want to buy, my checkout agent will add the right size and color to my cart. Now here we go. I can't help it if I'm popping, see them watch like It's outrageous how this flavor got him shook like Hold up. I feel fabulous. Oh, I What else should I do to make it stronger? To make it stronger, consider adding more triangles to the design. F-A-B-U-L-O-U-S every day like If you want it, come get it, no disrespect. Hold on. What? Every day like <laughs>